Now, if you read and you listen to people, Josh Lope, what they say about him, uh, from that uh, corner of the Eastern Cape, Petranskai University of Walter Sisulu today, which produced the best minds, legal minds, up to Mugaitobi, the best lawyer in the Republic today, the best judges you get in the Constitutional Court. They come from the hands of Lope, and some of them worked with him, they were colleagues. You know, we are dealing with uh, Lope. Some of the people who criticize Lope are saying he will never go home hungry today. You saw yesterday, Malem, he said Lope will not go home hungry. I, I, you are on Twitter, don't say you didn't see it. And then, and then, and then, we were not there, me and Nongu, we were not officials. When Lope was being challenged on his ethical conduct by political parties. Some of them today are hypocrites who say that the ANC is conniving with the DA. When a judge, very good judge, make misjudgments and uh, does uh, things that are not supposed to be done, and uh, unfortunately it happened to be a black judge. And then you say the law must be blind because Lope is black. The rule of law must not be uphold. Where will this constitutional democracy go to in the next couple of months and years to come? It's going to die. Mbalula must not be charged because it's the SG of the NC uh, if he does something wrong. Uh, Ramaphosa must not step down if he's found wrong in terms of the law. Jacob Zuma must not be held accountable. And the list goes on. It doesn't work like that. Rule of law, which is a cardinal pillar of the national democratic revolution. Once the rule of law collapses, society collapses. Now, they've gone through a rigorous process. They started challenging him. And then raised the case. Some of them are vaccinating. They've changed with the wind. You know, Mandela says, if you change policies on the basis of the constituency you faith, not on principle, you are not a leader. When you meet people and you look at them, you, you think they want death penalty. You, you go to, out and then you come back with, since I forget death penalty, it. those people will never vote for you because you are a liar and a populist. You are not consistent. Principle teaches us that you must stand for what it is right, even if the majority don't agree with you. That's it. It doesn't matter. We have agreed with the EFF and many other political parties in that parliament. And who have even extreme views that they want to erase the ANC surgically. Floyd says that. You know, surgical removal. We don't want to see the ANC. Even if it means we will work with the DA as long as it is not the ANC. He says that. But these hypocrites, they will change tomorrow and say, the ANC worked with the DA, and you believe them. They have worked with the DA when we lost power, when we were crumbling, when we brought ideology to them, they said, we don't eat ideology. Go away, Malula, and swim. I was there, talking to them. I've accepted that. These politics are the way they are today in South Africa. It's a multi-party democracy. And then uh, you can work with everybody. But we as the ANC, we know the dangers of coalitions and all of that. And uh, we don't want to find ourselves having to kneel to right wing and conservatives. It's unfortunate that we could arrive at the decision of Lord Pepper. That is what we voted for in 1994 through our constitution. Unfortunately, that's what we voted for. Now, if you read and you listen to people, Josh Lope, what they say about him, uh, from that uh, corner of the Eastern Cape, Petranskai University of Walter Sisulu today, which produced the best minds, legal minds, up to Mugaitobi, the best lawyer in the Republic today, the best judges you get in the Constitutional Court, they come from the hands of Lope, and some of them worked with him, they were colleagues. When they talk to you about his understanding of the law, you're a menace.
And the fact that we can come to this point, not on the basis of his ability to think and to understand the law, but behavior. You fall in life, not because you couldn't think, but you fall because of misjudgment. And that's why people apologize and step aside. Powerful people, because they made erroneous decisions. And it happens. And it, it happens with Klopp. Eh? And there's no way the ANC is going to flow with something that undermines the rule of law. And, 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 and that is the point. So we stand where we stand. And uh, we are not delighted. We don't celebrate it. But it's got to be done. Because something has been found there. Uh, in terms of this individual. Judge Mutata, shame, he went in through a wall. You know, uh, and a uh, judge, sober. You know, this thing that judges, I'm sober as a judge. Mutata just changed it overnight. And uh, it was a, it was a, it was a something, you know. Cardinal judges, yeah, pose a And then, but, uh, uh, it is it is it is it is uh, it is painful